Hello everyone, Speed Demon here, and welcome back to part 5 of our Let's Learn Civilization 6 Germany run. Where we last left off, just got a builder done. We're going to go ahead and get to work on our university here. So, important thing here, as we go ahead and get this mine started here. We've got 5 build charges here, so that's pretty excellent for my situation. Go ahead and get rifling boosted there. I am one away from getting a normal era secured, which is about what I want. You know, in this situation, I have a normal age, but uh, this guy's going to get hit a good bit. I want to go ahead and bring the other guys over and just help secure this region just a bit more. That being said, this guy's going to stay close. And we're just going to want to kind of be a little careful of what's around us. So first this guy's going to attack them. After a loss in lo yep. So they got hit a good bit. We do have Tortoise and Amphibious. Tortoise is actually going to help us here. We did get a very, very good campus going here in the city of uh, Chinggeti here, just in the south, which is really good because it's also giving us two, uh, two culture based off Nan Madol's um, uh, suzerainty bonus. Your districts on or next to coast or lake tiles provide two culture. And really, that's pretty darn good for my current game situation. It gives me a lot of tempo to start coming back and uh, competing with the AI, essentially. So... Once we get to four population here, our next priority is going to be to boost up our production. So we're going to get an industrial zone going here. Get this next couple, like, you know, little tiles here in these cities. Uh, I will chop this. And then once I have that done, because again, I'm going to get a builder here. I'm going to put two lumber mills here. Two uh, mines here. That way I can get plus one and plus one. I'm already getting adjacency bonuses here from this, and that'll just add even more. So ideally, this will probably be about a six plus six or seven production, and then multiplied by two by having the craftsman card here. Um, that gives me some flexibility. You know, I could do some definite work with that. In the meantime, I'm just going to do a little bit of damage to this guy here before we attack him. Oh, I just saw some bullets fly across somewhere different. <laughs> And now when you attack them, they're going to be a little weaker, and I don't need to worry about the damage hurting them so much. So they're going to have just a little bit more health. So that's perfect. We're going to go ahead and skip turn with this guy here. Uh, this builder has the option to go a bunch of places. Um, here could definitely be good if I built another, you know, little, little farm sequence here. That could work, you know. This tile right here happens to just be like a super high yield tile so we can go ahead and go into that potentially uh, we could also pick up another amenity here that wouldn't hurt you know amenities at this stage of the game will just keep us kind of afloat um, it's the only two gypsum around so what we'll do is we'll press f9 we'll go to uh, monopolies and then we'll go down to gypsum and that provides 30 percent production towards buildings so um, it'll probably be the case that, I'm, yes, I am keeping this merchant until uh, until I find a better position. So, for example, like if I can get, you know, three of a specific luxury resource and create a corporation for it, that's going to be really critical there. So, for example, um, turtles here for science yield will be crucial. So, anywhere that I can kind of develop that, and also at the same time, get my science up and running. That'll be a really critical aspect of our growth. In the meantime though, um, this guy can actually, if I take him down south, it will take some time of course, but uh, it'll help speed speed up and just in general expedite that process. So not very much utility. What I may do is actually just bring this guy here and make a lumber mill just for the additional little bit of um, uh, additional little bit of production since we'll be getting other values we might as well just kind of play off of that 
course they're going to attack that unit. That's actually okay. Um, this isn't in a major situation of threat at the moment. Surprisingly, it is not as bad as it seems. Um, in this situation, what we're going to do is we want to think, okay, what units can move around without losing their, their possible, you know, ability to move and also attack at the same turn. So in this case, you know, yes, that would kill them for sure. That would leave him weak. If we do that instead, then it puts them in a different position. So what I want to do is I'm going to actually fortify him. And then have you attack them. And while it is tempting to want to move him, I need to just wait a turn for a little bit. So just let's have them skip turn for now. We'll stay fortified. And these guys are going to get healed up a little bit. Actually, they're just about ready. So we're going to go ahead and start, start shipping them down south. Act as close fire support. Right now, that'll provide us a little tempo because any troops that come up there, we'll just be able to kind of handle them. We'll help kill any units that need to, to be taken out. Like, there's that galley that's in the back area there. Um, this whole region right here can provide a very, very, very nice amount of science adjacency. So like right here would be good. And then we put a harbor, you know, either here or we put a harbor here. Harbor right there would be pretty darn good. And then a campus here could be pretty viable as well. There are tons, there are tons of fishing boat locations here. So this could be an extremely strong naval outpost. So that will be kind of an option for us. Because as you can see, there are quite a few cities that are close enough to uh, to see here that anything that has two range, like the mid-game naval units, uh, we will be able to acquire strong amounts of utility out of. What we want to do is we want to first consider, yes, that can make us a lot of gold per turn. Um, we're at 90 gold per turn. That's not bad for where we're at. We're going to want to consider making another internal trade route maybe from the south and kind of work our way north. This one's already existing. It's just a uh, gold one. I think that goes to either here or somewhere different. Um, what we will do is first, before we move them, uh, we will get a workshop going. That's 780 gold. So we'll get started on a university and then we'll in a few turns buy the workshop there. And that'll be a good spot for us there. Uh, great people, you know, not in a bad spot. We're fairly competitive with this stuff. We're getting a good amount. This will actually, this is this is going to be very critical for us. Uh, this will apply a huge tempo adjustment because of the workshops providing free culture. Um, in almost every city, I'm going to eventually develop all of those cities with a pretty significant amount of... Um, industrial zones and in the capital here with Magnus if you go all the way down um, and go to and I will get this and then that and then that so by late game the city receives production from all nearby uh, industrial zone districts with regional bonuses and not just the first so basically that means if you build one here and you build another one here 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 as long as they're um, in range as long as they're in range of like the regional bonuses, that's going to add all that. So say you have plus four, plus four, plus four, and then you're just adding plus 12 on top of your production. So say I would have, instead of 22, I would have, you know, 36, or excuse me, 34. Um, and so that does make a difference in this case because that, you know, plus four, plus four, plus four, uh, that can add a lot. This can make something that can have nine turns left go way less. And that can be, you know, a turn and a half to two turns, potentially. Um, and that's that's very, very powerful, especially once you get into the late game where you just need to pump units out. Because eventually, you know, Venetian Arsenal, and that'll be kind of like a focus part of the build. Um, in general, it is a key part of it is just to consider that as an option. Now, we want to think about what city we want to add the Colossus Wonder. Now, that provides us one trade route capacity, a trader, um, a great admiral point per turn, and a little bit of gold. 
not a bad wonder. You know, it's a good early game wonder for a Navy. It just provides you a little bit more rotation with trade routes, and it can give you more to work off of. So, right now, you know, in this position here, I have the option to actually go ahead and start getting some of these other high cities here. And I will go ahead and do that, because then I can probably take one all the way to Magdeburg, and it'll collect here, or around here, and then that'll be perfect. And that way we've got a couple more cities that are now being assisted, you know, because then I can take one from there, cross over. Cologne already has a trade route that comes down to here, so this is perfect. We have a little bit of faith income. It's actually, it is actually beneficial that we got that from that trade. Um, because the thing about it is that getting four faith per turn means that we'll be able to generate enough faith eventually to just buy one or two potential great people. And that's going to help us a lot. So of course they're going to attack them. They're going to get killed here. We will go ahead, in this case, yeah, uh, we can harvest that, and that would remove the wood here, or the woods here. So you would basically take out one production out of that. Um, it would also help us get this done faster, so that's an option here. This is owned by Aachen. No, it's owned by Magdeburg. So if I switched, how much would this be different? 112, so that's a lot more. Uh, 112 would take me to 200, so that's not bad. So having a dam could be good, because um, then, yes, that would actually be amplified there. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes, it would be nice to get the production, but we can actually make a little farm set up here, and this would actually be a little bit better for our overall growth. We're going to have plenty of production. We're not going to have enough food growth. So let's actually re-specialize a little bit for that. Because if we build a few more here, you know, we'll start getting some better adjacency bonuses. Uh, or not adjacency bonuses, but just added yield bonuses specifically once, you know, once you have the feudalism civic, you have the option to do that. And then eventually, later in the game, you'll have the means to, um, I think it's, uh, da, da, da. actually maybe at steel, with mechanized agriculture. Oh, it's right here. Uh, replaceable parts. Uh, upgrades farm improvements to mechanized agriculture, plus one food adjacency for every farm they are adjacent to. So, if I put a bunch of farms here, that becomes really practical. So we'll go ahead, complete that, and we'll get this shortened down. And see, this is still going to be good tile. I lose one production from it, but I'm eventually going to gain a very nice amount of food growth out of it, and that'll provide me with a good amount of bonuses. Um, now what I can do is I can go ahead and swap this back, and we are good. So yes, we lose a little bit of short-term production, that's really not a problem. Uh, we're in a position of growth where we can actually make good use of that. So that's okay. We're gonna keep you healing up. Let this guy come up. Not a very, <laughs> not a very useful thing for us to have picked up, but still okay. Um, what we do want to do is eventually, if it's possible to secure a golden age here, that would be very, very ideal. Um, otherwise, not that big of a deal. Let's see here. I would rather get these guys a little bit more XP. So I'll line them both up. And get you up a little bit more. And let these guys just refortify. You stay fortified. And yes, Frigus are nice, but I'm not really worried about getting them upgraded too early. Gonna increase our cost, and we don't have enough Niter anyways. So we'll skip turn for now. A Heidelberg will take you down to Magdeburg here. So it's going to take us a little route like here. We can also go to Hamburg here if we want to just kind of connect some of these cities. 
Um, that actually may not be a bad idea. The only thing is, is that uh, Hamburg here is very small and it wouldn't provide a big bonus. Magdeburg at least is going to give us a very strong bonus and it'll connect us into the mainland. So we will do that because then you can have more individual trade routes to the big cities. Magdeburg and Aachen are going to be major cities, so that'll be a key point of interest. Um, we can go ahead and get a bit more work done here. You know, that wouldn't hurt picking up more culture because I can probably put down, um, you know, let's see here. If I own those tiles and I put down a campus here, what I could do is put a campus there since I'll be close to Rainforest. That'll give me plus one. Uh, I could put down couple districts here I would like to ideally um, if I can help it go ahead and put down theater square theater square or campus as a flex option depends on which we want to go for and that'll be good so let's see they're going to likely move up which is a perfectly fine opportunity for us to go ahead and just eliminate that threat. Uh, it'll also allow us to get some healing done. So that's going to hurt. Yeah. Okay, well that sucks. And also, I think I take back what I said. I need to get this guy upgraded. Okay. It's a perfect thing to see there. So... Quick adjustment, we're just going to go ahead and have to consider building a strong naval unit here. Um, damn, you know that it is frustrating, we're just going to have to work off of that. Um, I know earlier we made that mistake of one of our high level um, archers getting killed and we had to go back and you know, just do a quick little save back. This time I'm going to live with this consequence, I'm just going to have to just suck it up and do with it. I don't want to have to make multiple reversions back and forth with our saves. So. Uh, this guy, we're going ahead and just keep him fortified and have you just kind of plunk away a little bit of this guy, protect him, keep him ready for a turn. Um, you will fortify, you will fortify. So we do want to take care of that. So we're going to go ahead and actually get set up there. Um, we're going to build a few farms here now. So that way we can get some food, just proper food growth. Go ahead and delete that. And let's consider just buying a unit. As much as I don't want to spend the gold, let's just go ahead and get that taken care of. Um, a man-at-arms is probably the safest option because we'll be able to take that out at least and then we can definitely do some damage to the other guy. So we'll just buy man-at-arms to just secure that threat. Plus having a small army along with our navy, once we regrow our navy, yes, that's a big loss. I need to get this guy out of there. They're, he's probably going to get targeted and get killed because that's just a ton of strength. The fact he has more than double my combat strength means he can just effectively one-shot me. So that's not... Uh, let's just put it this way. It's bad news bears. It's very, very bad news. Um, we will go ahead and build the lighthouse. That way we can kind of get some better food yields and that'll help grow the city a little bit faster. Got about three turns left until humanism is here. So that's good. Um, it'll also allow us to, to get this guy up here. As I expected, you're going to attack that guy. He went the other way. Actually, that's an opportunity for me to do a very small but very important little bit of damage. And you, I'm just going to get you back into safety. I need to make sure at least I can protect one of them. Um, so... Oh, that's right. I need to have... Um, where is it? Mercantilism. That's right. Okay, so I can't do that yet. So... That's my bad on that. I'll go ahead and actually bring this... Mm, I may have to... I'm going to bring them here. And just have them up here. They're too far away to get taken, so we're okay. But I do want to consider going ahead and just getting like a quick, you know, one or two. Like, that's a, that's a super good tile. 
getting like a fishing tile here and here would be very good. So we'll just go ahead and set ourselves up for that. So we'll actually, we'll go ahead and kill this guy off first and just continue healing them. That way he can be a little more strength. They're going to push up and lose that movement. But that's actually okay for us. Get that nice increase our food. That's going to put us at three food as well. So see, this... Okay, excuse me, sorry. So this allows us to get a nice little boost of our tempo here. And that's really one thing that we're going to be looking for throughout the game. So we have the option to go ahead and build another Hanza. What we want to do is think about a place that's going to make sense. So that's going to be a plus two there. That's an okay place. Um, what we do want to think about is what's going to make more sense. So we place a plus two right there. You know, a lumber mill there, yes. Um, a quarry there. Two lumber mills would give me plus one. Also, let's go ahead and just take care of this guy. Weaken him a lot so that way he's less of a threat. And then eventually, once we have, uh, once we have access to potentially a golden age, if we can pull it off, it's going to be a very tough one to do, but it would be pretty damn good to do. Uh, if assuming that we are able to pull that off what we'll do with that essentially is that we will try to pick up the monumentality um golden age and pick up some uh pick up you know two or three settlers from faith you know maybe get one more builder and that'll kind of cover our overall needs um because this is a small city i can definitely for sure consider eventually getting some getting something like a harbor going um, I will eventually get four populations, so it's not that big of a deal right now. Uh, a Hanza would be good. There's a couple good options, you know. Eventually getting something over here would be good. Strategic resource would allow us to get points, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so let's just quickly confirm that. Yep, adjacent resource tile. So that that would actually give me a bit of a bonus there as well. And then having a couple of uh, lumber mills will add a bit more. Plus two here, however, um, a mine here would give us a little bit, but we would need another mine. I almost feel like it would actually eventually be better to set on up there. But what I'd like to do instead is probably consider getting a harbor. This is going to be eventually a naval city on the west coast side of their island, this island here, and we're going to work over here. So it'll be more important that we eventually establish that. Plus we'll be able to get some housing and that's going to apply us a little bit because we are very limited on housing growth there. Good. So another trade route got done. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, put this one in Berlin, get another one set up here, and just continue setting up more of them. The more that we set up, the better. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this one in the capital as well. That way we further amplify our food growth since we're going to have a proper food surplus now. So I need to be careful about this guy here. I want to drive them this way. If they can go this way, that's ideal. If they go to the campus and try to wreck the campus, that's going to be very uh, difficult to work with. And go ahead and just uh, link up and alert. I'm not seeing anything there, so we got to be a little careful. Good. So the weakened units are now more present, but there aren't that many uh, threats at the moment. So, And we'll go ahead and finish that guy off. And that'll take care of most of the barb issue here. And we're going to go ahead and just you know heal up our units for a little bit, get them to central land, away from the range stuff. Good. So I'll leave that there. We're definitely going to eventually settle the cities there. This, oh man, if there was a land tile right here, 
If there was a land tile there, that would be an insane campus. That, that campus would be very, very powerful. Um, let's go ahead and just secure Chichen Itza. You know, getting a couple, getting a couple extra, you know, culture and production doesn't hurt. The good thing is because we'll have a few cities here, a few of these south cities will act as like a nice little production hubs as well. We'll have a major north production hub and we'll have a nice small, like small going into a strong one. Like Chingeti here already has an amazing amount of production. Uh, Blizzard, and, oh wow, you gotta be kidding me. That's a huge loss. I just saw what it did. Two population lost there. That's so brutal. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right. Well, that is what it is. Unfortunate. There's nothing I can do about that. It's a big loss, but one unit was killed. And oh, it was the scout. The scout got killed. All right. Well, I gotta get this guy over here. So I need to make sure he always you know stays alive. Um. Two tiles gained fertility. One thing I wish the game did was bit is be a bit more clear about what tiles actually got impacted. Like it would highlight it for you. Um, that's one thing I, that base game that it doesn't necessarily do. That's a little difficult to recognize certain things. So we do have the opportunity to go ahead and change up our government. We're going to go ahead and change our diplomatic policy card. And we're going to go... Um, probably either with the gold one. We are doing okay with our influence points. You know, we have most of our general needs covered. We have two cities, uh, city states that we're suzerain of, and we don't have a lot of, uh, let's see here, Fran of Pike and Shot. I want to eventually get around to that, but not a major priority. It would just allow us to get really another, uh, city state with, uh, some control, so... That's fine. Having Fez as an option is very powerful, though. That gives us a lot of, a lot of little just bits of, you know, science. And that is a fun thing to have. So what we'll do is we will retain this. Um, there can definitely be a good consideration for me to build just one more builder. That way I've got one available. Um, you guys, let's go ahead and bring you back. Unlink. And you go north a little bit. And just keep you somewhat close. So, what we'll do in the meantime is we'll just go ahead and... Um, I'd like us to get a few more... A few more little farms set up here. Because we'll have a nice little central north hub here. We will develop kind of a nice little middle ground city where our city is going to act as like a bit of production. And it's more importantly going to provide us a good bit of food growth and some other things for our cities. Because then we can trade, you know, for food we can trade to the city. Um, in Magdeburg here, we also, once we get the university done, we have access to eventually probably get, um, I would say, Ancestral Hall. Is probably ideal. Uh, this isn't really going to be a big deal. You know, yes, it helps, but that's situational to the fact that you have a lot of successful um, city conquests. That's more like if you have a ton of different governors in different cities, and then you're just more or less trying to gain amenities and housing that you don't have. Not really that big of a deal. You know, it's helpful, but it's also a bit of a double-edged sword. This is just an overall benefit, and that's a nice benefit. That one, it, it does, you know, lose a couple loyalties. So you have to basically, if you're forward settling when you're going against another AI or something like that, you have to be careful that not to lose too much in the way of loyalty. Okay. So that unit got hit hard. And now it's on top of my other city, dude. Uh, wait. More and more tiles got fertilized. Okay. 
where so that's two now that's two it's one two 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 it's two one okay perfect so you're going to go ahead and we'll just have you click here and fortify um we will take emplacement here That way we just create a couple of super powerful units and then we combine them and then we're just going to have a, an absolute top tier kind of set up here. Move you up here, that way we're in a better defensive tile and we'll have some nice vision here so we'll have time to set up. We'll bring you over, bring you over and just start kind of setting control here of this zone. And since that'll get done, um, not really worried about making an industry. I'd want to make an industry basically in a position where I know I'm going to get a lot of science. So I need to place it in somewhere that I can be like, yes, that's going to be practical. Okay. So that's pretty good here. Let's go ahead, repair the Hansa. And then what we'll do is, uh, since we will repair that, make a quick trade deal. And then get some amenities here. Overall good deal. We're getting some more gold per turn. And it's also helping our yield. So I'm glad we take that. What we're going to do is just leave him here for now. Um, I'm actually, you know what? Let's get you to a frigate. We might as well go ahead and just get you upgraded. And that way we can go against that caravel here. And just do some damage on them. That way, you know, get the early bird special of attacks on them, and then that way we can get that leveled up. And then once we eventually get the Venetian Arsenal, uh, that'll be really key because next turn we'll have the ability to get started on that, and that's going to be kind of a priority. It's We do have ourselves a nice industrial zone here, and we're going to get, you know, some more stuff around here. So this is definitely positive. Um... Cologne now has that available. Let's take a look here. At least we didn't lose traders. Um, let's see here. We're going to go to mines, actually. And then we're going to take one from mines to like Magdeburg. That way we just get a little bit better rotation. Oh, yeah. A monitor. Okay. So seven turns to get nine error score. She has plenty of science per turn. Good, so I have access to mass production. Secure the south and head down here. You're gonna fortify. You guys move your way down. And of course, lose another population. Man, dude. You're killing me. That's a huge... That's a huge... It did... It, wow, look at the pillage losses. That's absurd. I'm not even sure what I can do. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to even do in that case, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and just buy, buy a builder, and then maybe just get my... Okay, a little gold back, and we'll go to another place where we can get some uh, recovery done here. We're going to want to continue to level this area up and just get it stronger, getting more yield potential out of it. In the meantime, though, let's go ahead and think about what other options we have. In Frankfurt, let's go ahead and just buy one more builder. Go back, select this for a turn, and then go back to mercantilism. That way next turn we can switch up our government. It's actually better that we didn't do that one we did, so that works out. 
Um, we are going to need to do a little bit of work here to kind of recover, though. That was a huge loss that we just took. A lot of damage done. But Hansa is complete. Uh, we are now up to 26 production in that city, so that is perfect. 12 turns for a settler. It's going to take some time, but that's also an option for us. Um, just have you heal up a little bit. And then let's take you to Magdeburg. We're going to have a lot of things centralized here, but it's also going to be good because it's going to allow us some more trade routes. More trade routes to have better efficiency. Go ahead and just ship you up here. Get you to safety, get you to land. Since we have access to that, we can go ahead and get, uh, yeah, get essentially started on industrialization. I think that's a good point there. And we'll get started here. All right, everyone. I think there's a great stopping point for now. But thank you for your time. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And you all have a good one. Speed D-Man out.